So, like I said, if adultery is a woman cheating on her husband with another man, which is how she was caught with another man in the very act, right? So the man was what? <laughs> when they were caught, they were both having sex. Right, right. But they brought her only to Jesus. But why? Why? <laughs> Did they think at least she could have been his wife? You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, you know, why bring this strange woman to Jesus if he don't even know her or they don't think she's his wife or something, right? In the first place. And this explains why he says fornication is the only reason you can legally divorce your wife, right? See, she just committed a fornication, you can see, right? So he legally divorced her, right? <laughs> It is in the Bible. It's in Matthew and John and John. Matthew is talking about why you divorce a woman, right? He said fornication is the only cause, right? For divorce, right? So what he's doing is one, they didn't bring the man and would have to go back and get him. <laughs> Two, mm -hmm. Roman law, even if he's her husband, doesn't allow him to just stone her, right? <laughs> That's the Jewish practice. You can't practice your religion, right? When it kind of is harmful to others, even in Roman society, right? See, it's more a Roman thing, right? <laughs> Only the Pontius Pilate could carry out capital punishment or the King Herod, right? As he did with John the Baptist again and again. So, Jesus couldn't stone her even if he wanted to, but he forbade, right, the law because they didn't mean the man, right? See, if they broke both her and him, he might have had to do something, right, right? But again, why does he also mm -hmm, forgive her at the end, right? He didn't condemn her, right? Well, like I told you about the woman at the well, that's a suspicious thing to bring up to someone you just met who's a Samaritan who has no dealings with Jewish men, right? And she knew he was a Jew. <laughs> he offers her living water that should not die. <laughs> See, you're not any of that. <laughs> what Jesus is really talking about there. What kind of living water is he offering her, idiot? Sex, sex, I know. With him, not the other men she done me with, not the other six men, right? Who died. Their water died in her, right? Their water was not living water. <laughs> it's a metaphor, it's a metaphor. <laughs> See, that's why you can't tell metaphors in the Bible. You're not looking deep enough, right? See, dead water in, and living water are two different things to a woman, especially if she's married, right? It's like with Hannah and Samuel, right? To have Samuel, right? With her husband, right? She was going to the temple, and the, even Eli thought she was just drunk, right? Off her butt, right? <laughs> she was praying so hard, right? Mm hmm but at the same time, right, she's in the same situation, right? And Jesus, being a Jew, is offering this Samaritan woman not just sex, right, but to make sure she, he knows he can get her pregnant until he's at night, too, right? <laughs> so, again, that he that is not sitting gets for some, right? So, if he's already with the woman at the well, right? <laughs> And she's with another man, perhaps, even after with Jesus, who knows, we don't know, right? See, at night, you're with your husband. <laughs> if you're cheating on him in the day, well, what does that matter? <laughs> right. Jesus is the living water, right? <laughs> He's not dead. My God's not dead. He should be alive. Right, right. Well, that was the point. <laughs> If you have five husbands and no children are around you and you're living with a dude, right? <laughs> Not the dude, but a dude, a dude. Right? 
I'm watching Curtis Choice tonight, so anyway, right on the CW. <laughs> but anyway, but anyway, <laughs> she's just living with something new by that time, right? <laughs> and Jesus ain't telling her like it's a bad thing, right? He's instead offering her a living water that she'll never die, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's going over your head. He also tells the disciples, I have meat to eat of the Judah not. <laughs> her. <laughs> She's the meat he wants to eat of, right? Oh, oh. <laughs> he wants to feed his fetus inside of her, right? Like I was with Mary Bell. I know. <laughs> but see, that's the point. I don't know what happened there. In that, I'm not trying to be with her because she's 37, right? Or I can be with her if she's 37, right? Which is it? Which is it? <laughs> See, my job as a disabled person is to ask the person I'm with their age, right? I don't have to do nothing fancy, right? You're working her in a job she has to be 16 to be in that, right? Now, could she tell me she's 15? And what would have happened? I would have left. I would have left after she did the dance, right? But you also have to let the crime really occur. But guess who would have to still know? Me. I didn't know. I didn't know. That's who you meant. Nope. Nope. You can't prove I did, right? See, that's to protect the innocent against the female who's lying, right? But the female can lie like in Fast Times at Ridge Run High too, right? She can't lie to me if I'm willing to be with an older woman. <laughs> What's the difference? I don't care if she's a virgin or not, right? <laughs> so when she told me she's 37, I didn't know, right? I didn't care, right? I don't know. I didn't know it was a 37-year-old virgin or not, right? <laughs> I just wanted to be with her, and she was with me thinking she was 37, right? That's the difference between a pedophile mind who would, if she told him she was 15, would sleep with her anyway. <laughs> That's the real crime. I'll sleep with her anyway. Yeah, if she's 15, don't hit me 15, right? That's when you're criminals, right? Yourself, right? Because you made her feel like if she told me she was 15, I wouldn't think with her. Huh? Right. Or would. Right. So you got her ass backwards <laughs> to tell me she's 37. And that's what I wanted, a 37-year-old woman. <laughs> right. Dumbass. Right. You're getting my wires crossed. <laughs> Not me, you. Right. <laughs> You're not hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth, MF. <laughs> You're making up your own little ideas of shame that ain't true, I know. <laughs> at all, at all. <sighs> right, right. And that's exactly the point, right? And if I can't tell you that, right? You're beyond delusional about it, right? <laughs> but even with Michelle at Chinatown, like I told you, she has to come here, right? And if she could come here, I don't know if she did or not. That's the problem, right? <laughs> I'm not going to try and make a move on her in the store anyway, I know. But now, the question is, is she making a move on me, Right. And if she did, we did it quick, right? Too, too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> See, I ask certain things. Age, are you single or married? Do you have a boyfriend, right? Usually that, too. <laughs> I don't try to mess with someone who's also in a current relationship, either, either, right? Exactly. <laughs>